In our last video, we talked about why it's important to set up a profit and loss or P&L statement and differentiate it between cost of goods sold, expenses, and sales. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at cost of goods sold next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Cost of goods sold are expenses directly associated with sales. For example, if 10 hours of labor sales are assigned to the estimate, the flip side of those sales should show the shop's cost for those 10 hours. The same goes for parts. If there is a sale for an OEM part, there should be a cost for that OEM part. An easy way to understand this is, if the expense is a direct cost to complete the repair, it is a cost of goods sold expense. Just like sales, each category of cost contains subcategories that make up the overall expense. If you compare both sales and expense categories side by side, you'll see that each sales category has an expense tied directly to it. This gives owners and management an easy way to examine and report profitability by sales categories. If you know what profit margins you want to make, it quickly shows where the shop is making profit and where there is opportunity to make more. It's important that we don't want to muddy the gross profit margins by assigning overhead expenses to the cost of goods sold buckets on the P&L. As a reminder, overhead expenses are things like rent, customer service representative or manager pay, electric bill, estimating system, etc. Think of these as expenses you would have even if you didn't fix one vehicle. Now we need to get into all the other expenses that are required to keep the business going, i.e. overhead expenses. Overhead expenses include payroll and benefits for all employees who are not directly repairing the vehicle, building expenses such as rent, taxes, utilities, and building maintenance, office and shop supplies, advertising, meals, uniforms, etc. You'll notice that while it is necessary to pay these expenses, they're not tied to the actual repair of the vehicle. We need to pay rent and utilities to have a place to repair vehicles, but we're not charging our customers or insurance companies for these expenses or making money on those items. A rule of thumb is that if the expense isn't somehow touching the vehicle, it's an overhead expense. For example, the parts and paint and materials are going on the vehicle, the technicians are repairing the vehicle, and the sublet and towing vendors are all involved with the repair. So we refer to these expenses as associated with running a business that can't be linked to creating or producing the repaired vehicle. A good P&L statement is a simple and direct way to report the financial health of the body shop. With clean P&Ls, identifying leakage is a breeze. It also allows owners and management to make better business decisions and the ability to recognize opportunities. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.